Hello guys, I am very pleased and excited to welcome you to a new series, Final Fantasy X and X2 HD Remastered. I am an absolute lover of the whole Final Fantasy series. Um, I started playing back on Final Fantasy VII on the PlayStation, the original, and I have played ever since. Uh, you've selected the expert sphere grid. Yes, we're sticking with expert. Uh, select a soundtrack. Let's go arranged. Play the arranged. Yes. So this is on Steam. It's been out for quite a few months now. Let's get that out of the way. No one wants to see a mouse. I am looking forward to this very much. I've been wanting to replay through this game for so long, you would not believe it. Going to try and keep the episodes to about 30 minutes there or thereabouts, as much as that's possible. Um, I would expect in excess of 100 episodes for this. This is something that I will be able to play almost every day and just bang out episodes because I am so excited and I love the Final Fantasy series. I will include all the cutscenes, I won't cut anything whatsoever, we'll just play along and see what I can remember from playing this on the PlayStation 2. I mean it has been quite a long time. If there happens to be an episode that is very, very cutscene heavy, um, like I expect this one will be, what I will end up doing is I will release two episodes on the same day. Just because that way if you want to skip some of the cutscenes you'll be able to and you'll still get the same amount of, the same sort of length of content. I have to say the graphics are looking very nice on this. I have got them on the highest setting possible. But considering the age of the game, I think they have done a good job of remastering it. Listen to my story. This may be our last chance. I don't remember this from playing it originally, but that said, it's been so long. I do remember this was the first Final Fantasy where they actually had um, voices, where they had people talking, rather than just reading the writing, which is great, because it means I'm not going to have to read every single little speech dialogue. Okay, um, I need to figure out the keybinds because I have no idea what they are. Oh, hold on. B is pause. I normally like to use WASD and X and C for. That was B again. X and C for select and cancel. Um, on this at the minute, all I can figure out is that B is pause. Maybe we can't change them just yet. I don't know. Um, it's going to be a bit of a problem if we can't figure it out because it doesn't even tell you on the menu when you try and load the game. Okay, this is a problem because we need to speak to these kids here from what I can remember. Um, oh, hold on. Can you sign this? No problem. Uh, 
Okay, so C is apparently confirm. Uh, we're going to keep all the names original, I don't want to change them. We'll play this through as Square Enix Tender. Take it easy. Hey, show me how to play. Can I have your autograph? Of course. Good luck tonight. Nothing to worry about. One of my favorite oh, parts of this game goal. is Blitzball. I love I'll, playing that. Uh, do this. That will mean it was for you, okay? <laughs> what seat? He's blocking the front row. Fit from the right. Got it. Yeah. So Blitzball. Um, what I might do for the Blitzball is I might do a, a little uh, sort of mini series or something where I just upload them all to a separate playlist and I'll do them I'll do them periodically um, but just to separate them from the main gameplay so you don't have one or two episodes that's just Blitzball because I think that would be awful well, if you don't like it. Go. Cheer for me. Two, three, teach us how to blitz! Hey, I, I got a game to play. Then teach us after. Maybe tonight. Um, well, you can't tonight. I mean tomorrow. Promise. Promise. I do remember that trying to get Jack's Blitzball move was a bit of a pain in the rear originally. Hopefully it'll be a little bit easier for us now. I don't fancy having to do it and restart and keep loading saves to to actually try and get it. And it's one of those things that if you don't get it at the start, you don't get it at all. So it is important because it's a game changer. I cannot remember what the move was called though. I was in a coffee shop running away from home when I heard the news. Our hero, Jacked, gone, vanished into thin air. <laughs> My dad must have been his biggest fan. I knew how sad he'd be. Heck, we all were that day. Zanar, I says to myself, what are you thinking? I went running straight back home. We sat up talking about Jack all night. My dad and I never talked so much. Whoa. Didn't mean to reminisce, folks. Anyway. Make way, make way! Coming through, sorry. Hey, I'm gonna be late. Hey, let go of me. It's tough being the Blitzball star. This is one of my favourite cutscenes from the whole game coming up right now. Whoever thought a Blitzball deserves a medal. Thank you. 
They can hold their breath for a hell of a long time. There's Warren. First time. Okay, um, something I have just thought of that I could possibly do is plugging an Xbox controller. Um, could plug an Xbox controller and potentially use that instead of the keyboard and mouse. Orin! What are you doing here? Might work a little bit better. I was waiting for What are you talking about? It begins. What? Don't cry. I'm not gonna cry. I feel like it's perfect timing as well because it's been so long I can only remember parts of the story that I played multiple times when it first came out. Big patches I remember nothing about so this is going to be, I feel like reliving part of childhood again. I can't wait to bring you guys along on this journey. That's not our sword. A gift from Jack. My old man? Apparently that is our sword. I hope you know swear it was blue. These ones don't matter. We cut through. Okay, so X seems to be cancelled, C seems to be confirmed at the minute. Uh, we don't need to use any skills at the minute. From what I can remember, Orange just got the armor breaks anyway, which isn't really what we need 
right now. It's a nice for an area of effect. Attack for some attack multiple enemies, but don't bother not going, going after all. Yet. Cut the ones that matter and run. Good advice. Just check what skills we've got. Yeah, lowest enemy strength. Not useful. So we're just going to take out the ones in front, scamper, and get cracking as quickly as possible. I don't think we're even getting experience at the minute, so... Excuse me, we really want to kill as few of these as possible, just run through and be done with that. Character's overdrive gauge beneath the HP MP display is full. Character may use a special a unique attack once. Press left in the command window to use an overdrive. There we go. Bushido, Dragon Fang, and all of them. This is more like it. Okay, down left, up right, S, D, X, C. That is the buttons. At least it told us. Um, definitely changing them. So we know C's confirm X's cancel. Oh, yes, indeed, do. One of them must be for. Oh, I actually haven't got the card game in this. Ooh. I'm not sure what it's for then. I've just noticed that Tidus has an overdrive ability, which we probably should have used. Um, we'll use that right now. We may have to use a potion. Press C at the right time. That was just in time. Um, okay. I think what we're actually going to do, we're going to use Power Break because it's quite a tough enemy and then next turn, if we take damage, we will use a potion for sure. That means going to be nasty. Yep, potion time. So, use a potion on Tidus for the minute. One of the first things we're going to do is going to be to try and get Cure for some of some our parties that will really help matters. Um, all and can last for another round without a potion, I feel. So just keep attacking. Holy crap, that was a powerful attack. Yeah, we're going to have to use a potion now, though. Where are we? Maybe not. Okay, so that's another tentacle gone. I don't think it'll have too many more hit points left. In fact, that looks like it might be it done. Very simple boss fight just to introduce the mechanics of the game, but I mean, it's very well done. At no point does that really feel like a tutorial. It just feels like part of the gameplay. I mean, ah, oh, I, I just can't say how much I love this game. Final Fantasy is definitely my favourite franchise and series of all time. I've actually got uh, I've got seven, eight, and nine on Boy, Steam as well. Lauren, let's so get I mean, here. if you guys would like, we after we finish this huh? and ten two, I could go back and Give replay break, seven man. or eight for you, if that's something you would like to see. Nine. If enough people want to see it, I'll do it. But I felt it was one of the weaker. I felt after the 7 and 8 being such great games, I felt 9 was... I don't think it quite met. I, I don't know. 
don't get me wrong, it wasn't a bad game, I just, I, I feel like it was missing something, or like it changed too much, I'm not really sure. Um, wings flickering, wings flickering is bad. Oh, I should have attacked the one with the wings flickering. That was stupid. Kill them with wings flickering. There we go. That way it can't do a power attack. That's it. Keep dodging so we don't have to use potions. That's perfect. Okay, we're gonna need to take that one out next. Hmm. This could be bad. That. This could be bad. Knock it down. What? Oh, Trust me, you'll idea. see. Knock this down, and we should shoot across and destroy all of those four in one go. Ooh, that was a bit nasty. Wow, how many hit points does this thing have? If we don't get rid of it soon, we're going to have to use a potion. There we go. Okay, or we could knock the whole building down instead. <laughs> That's one way of doing it, I suppose. Go. Right, we're going to look for a suitable spot to call the episode now, because I think we are I coming up to about a half hour. Things. Like, where I was, what I got myself into, I started to feel lightheaded, and then sleepy. I think I had a dream. A dream of being alone. I wanted someone, anyone, beside me. So I didn't have to feel alone anymore. Got to love the little chocolate bomb loading screen. That's brilliant. I'm sure that wasn't in the original game.
Okay, I think I'm going to call this episode right here, um, because otherwise it could end up dragging on for a very long time before we find another suitable stopping point. So, I guess if you want to find out if we make it out of this swamp-filled ruin and what happens next, you're going to have to tune in on the next episode. As always, thank you for watching guys, please don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed the content, and I should catch you later.